Okay, we've got amplitude modulation here through these pins, and our carrier should be oscillator two. So if you take the frequency knob for oscillator two, it should change the pitch. Okay, but now if you change that one, it should change the timbre. Here, the pitch is staying stable. Okay. Everybody hear that? I can do this level overall, basically. Okay. Uh, any questions about amplitude modulation and hearing that difference between changing the pitch, changing the carrier frequency, and changing the modulator frequency? Yeah, come on. Um, my only question, I know you just like switch the pins, so you like the one of like an oscillator one, not an oscillator two. Yes. In this case, because they have different wave shapes, it's a matter of what, uh, how those sidebands are going to interact with each other. Uh, I, me I mentioned this caveat of like this, is, this assumes that you're working with two sine waves. Uh, the way this Cynthia is set up, you can't work with two sine waves because the only oscillator that produces sine waves is oscillator one. So you're going to get more complex results. And so sometimes it's, you, get, you get one result if you have a sine wave modulating a square wave versus a square wave modulating a sine wave. You'll get different results, OK? So try, try both of them out, I would say, OK? Um, let me go ahead and stop that.